Well, a dream is about to come true for a group of talented young football players from the Midwest. They are leaving their humble hometown for their very first visit to meet their AFL idols in the trip of a lifetime. In the middle of the red desert dust, 800 kilometres from the city, a green patch of dreams. That's it, Malcolm, good. Look for your options. These boys thrive at their local oval. Their passion is footy. And now, training for just the second time in boots, they're preparing for one incredible journey. My name's William Stack, and I'm here to represent Mika Thara. And I'm proud to go on the trip. Oh, good work, boys. The trip is to Perth, where they'll face three other teams at half time in the AFL Indigenous Round Clash at Optus Stadium on Sunday. Yeah. My yeah, name Jody. is Jody Gillespie. I've achieved the behaviour to go on this trip and come along and play with my friends. It's reward for achievement and dedication in an isolated community with its own unique challenges. So if a referee decides something, you have to just get on with the game and play fairly, because that's what we do in Mecca. The journey was made possible by the Stephen Michael Foundation. You know, half these kids never been on aeroplanes, you know, and half them would never run out and say, the, uh, a great footy ground venue where we got at the moment. The Waffle Hall of Fame legend's own journey is inspiring his mission. So I had my time all over again, I'd love to be a lot better educated. In its first two years, the Stephen Michael Foundation has already helped at least 40 children aged 8 to 17 travel to Perth from here in Mekathara, as well as pilot programs in Kew, Kojanup, Carnarvon and Mount Magnet. We've seen dramatic increase in the attendance and the skill levels of the kids. So we're seeing the kids much more engaged and um, much happier to listen. Happy kids who were even more excited than normal the night before their flight. I'm looking forward to um, seeing Mark Walters. I'm looking forward to going on the plane. How much sleep was had? Questionable. <laughs> but the early start worked in their favour. Soon it was time to board and then take off. Now in Perth, the group are taking inspiration from their heroes. How long have you been here? Meeting the Dockers at their headquarters and whatever the result on Sunday, one thing is certain. The boys from the bush are in town and it's something they'll never forget. Kaziah Dawn, Nine News.